All right, you know what? It's winter time. We are uh, three days before Christmas. Look outside. Let me show you. It's cold. Nice. Beautiful day, but cold. So the day Christmas day comes, a big storm coming in. It's going to be fun if we get any snow. Uh, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is that bike, you never have a working uh, uh, grips. All right. So I'm going to give it a try. Why not? I'm going to give it a try. And it uh, uh, looks like this is a control unit. You see that? This is the control unit. Let me take out the, uh, the GoPro remote control from here. All right, so this is the control unit. I'm gonna start from here. I see a lot of people. You see, it's here already. It's, I can see the, uh, the the electrical here. All right, so I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna use the heat gun and heat that up. Maybe I won't destroy the, this piece because uh, I see most of the guys that just cut it with a knife. All right, so let's let's give it a try. The worst scenario comes, I'm just gonna replace that. All right, let's get ready. Let me get some tools. All right, so look at that. This is my cruise control. That thing is amazing. Cost only five bucks, and look at that. Look how easy. You can uh, you know, relax your wrist. It's amazing. Get it if you don't have it. All right, so this is uh, a T55. Old. Nice. I love the winter here. My wife hates it. I just love it. I go with the bike uh, as long as it's not ice or uh, snow on the road. I'm out of here. And she comes with me. She follows. She loves it. She's beating <laughs> about the cold, but. Uh, A ride with a bike, it's a ride with a bike, so... Alright, so let me see if I have to remove that from here. Um, yes, I'm gonna remove this completely, so I won't destroy it. Right, let me get tools. Okay, so this is... Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, it's a T25. I don't see it from here. Okay, I think I got it. That's a T25. Maybe I should go the other side to work on this bolt. Uh, a little bit of pain in the bath. I'm gonna go around. In the meantime, you can enjoy the bike way 2000 Montana. We used to go to bike week Daytona bits love Daytona bits uh, we used to go to a place you know, on the beach that has uh, a seafood, beer and live music every day seven days and uh, what a wild times and uh, we used to go for, uh, also sun and fun uh, airplanes and ultralight planes uh, air show in Lakeland every year for 10 years or maybe more and uh, we flew our planes there if you see our previous or all my old videos you can see what i'm talking about <clears throat> we have a lot of fun back in the 90s and in the early 2000s you know but uh Okay, so let me get something, put all the bolts inside. All right, and um, we used to go to uh, um, Daytona Beach, Kennedy Space Center, well, every time, uh, SeaWorld. And uh, then we used to drive to Cocoa Beach and then ride, you know, ride um, or drive maybe. We also have my trailer with me with the planes. Drive all the way up to Daytona Beach. We'll have a lot of fun. We'll stay there a couple of days then. And uh, we went to San Agustino, uh, 
and uh, some more beautiful places on the way north on the way north we used to go to um, Cape Cod uh, sorry uh, 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 to Kill Devil's Hills in North Carolina so we, we we used to go back to New York taking the coastline all the way up about take us about a week to get there but who cares we were young and we have fun and um, all right, so let's get it in ready. You can see that this just came out. Now this is another cruise control. This is another trick I use here. What you do is this is a rubber part you get from the plumbing supplies, all right. And if you want to stick your throttle, let's say 120 steady kilometers, you just squeeze the rubber and bring it forwards a little bit, and that's it. That's how simple it is. All right, and I like that because you, you know I can use I can control better the throttle. All right, and I don't I'm not rely on electronics. So let me get this out. The other cruise control. Beautiful. This is also really good. Look how nice it is. Remember, it goes this way. In the beginning, I put it this way, it's not going to work, it slips. Alright, so let's put this there. Um, it's still working. I should, uh, all right, so let me warm it up a little bit and put it on. Uh, uh, one, two, let's start with one. What I'm gonna do is also is I'm gonna use uh, maybe a little bit of W40, put it inside there. I don't know. See that I just cut a little bit on the top. You don't want to touch the electronics or the circuit. And well, that's the end of that. Uh, I'm gonna measure the diameter, and I'm gonna order replacements online. They're not expensive. So by the you know, I, I think I should just get the other one too. Okay. All right, I got it up to here. Now, if you want to do that, be very careful. Don't touch the uh, the, the electricals here. And what I do is very careful. Put a new blade and cut it just a little bit. Just give it a start. That's it. Look at that. You don't have to cut anymore. Just a little bit here on the top. You see that? You don't have to touch anything else. And I will highly recommend you warm it up because it just comes out much easier. Then, before you order the new ones, let me show you. Then, keep the old 
part the old ones because they have a code here and they have a part number. Now, if you order this from BMW, it would be quite expensive. I'm just gonna put aftermarket. It's not right, it's just a rubber. Just a rubber. <laughs> All right, so then when you go like this and you measure the diameter, that's a 26 millimeters. Okay, now let me go the other side. Make sure you zero the caliper. That's 25 and a half. So let's say it's 25. Let's the right side is 27. Anyway, 27 and a half. I'm gonna go online find out because make sure when you order them just so they have the. Uh... One more time. One something, 1.06. So, one more time, millimeters. Millimeters is 27. Yeah, 27. All right, so let's see the grips. Yeah. This just goes right in on the 27. Okay. Made in Italy by Ariete. So these are now the original one has the previous owner. I got this bike used. Um, yep. So I'm gonna order the same ones. They're gonna last at least four or five years. Who care? All right. Let's go to the next sex step. Okay. Um, I'm gonna clean it up with silicone W40. Don't use regular W40, these are electrical circuits, okay? Silicone is fine. So I'll be able to see a little better what's going on here. And uh, this is just uh, a grease from the rubber. The circuit is under, okay. I'm gonna put a little more. That's the, okay. Okay. It's okay for now, let's go to the other side. Get rid of this, I don't need any more. Much easier if you do have a, a heat gun to do that. Okay. It cleans pretty good actually. I just I don't pr I don't put pressure, I just the light touch here. But it needs to be clean so you can be able to see what's going on here. If you want to fix it. If you want to replace it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what I do right now. You just uh, go to the dealer and replace it. But I love working on this on any bike. I love it. So any problem is a challenge. And working on your bike, it's fun. Now, this is the main reason I'm doing all this stuff you see on YouTube, okay? And this, this baby here, I have it for 25 years. All right, what's the point to have a bike when, uh, you know, you keep paying the dealer and you only, the only thing you do is clean it up? Eh, all right, whatever. But this is my way. 
I love working on my bike. I want to see, I, this is my ass up there and my wife on the bike. I want to make sure everything works perfectly. Even if it's a new one. Okay, the new ones, the new ones, they have uh, the rear drive rusted. And this is a 2009 and the rear drive was like greased and perfect, like brand new. Check my video on the rear drive service of this bike, all right? So, okay, now we got to that point, we clean it up. It's pretty good, I'm gonna start the inspection. Uh, and uh, I gotta take them out. There's no way you can do this kind of repair with the things on the, on the bike. So, they need to be removed. Okay. Uh, let me get some tools. I'm gonna open this up and uh, come back. Interesting. See how it looks like it? Okay. That bolt was loose. Hmm. Oh, this is how it looks like. All right, let's uh, take this off. Um, that's a T20. We got that. Looks like this is coming in in pieces. Hmm. Oh. Well, it's a good time to uh, open up and grease the throttle. Why not? But uh, here we go. This is good. I can inspect everything now. All right, let me see what else we need. Let me show you. See it? See the cable? Right there. Okay. Let me get, see what else I need here. And I come back. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it. Ohm resistance is futile. Let me see here, put them together, zero. On the side, zero. Again, zero. I don't know. This one shows good. Ah, let's go the other one. Okay, let's do the other one. We got zero. I just touch them together now. I don't see any zero number here. Let me see here. Is zero? Is zero to them together? On plus and minus here. Uh, there's something wrong on this one. This one is good. This one is not good. See it? I don't know if you can see it, but it's look at that. It will not zero. I touch them together now. The two points together is zeros. And uh, this one doesn't. This one does. Something wrong with this one. Ah, right, let's take it out. The 
It has a little gap here. I, <coughs> okay, the throat cable, you don't want to use too much metal parts on this. Actually, I'm going to use my nail. Uh, let me find uh, like a little plastic thing. Okay. I'm going to use this as round. This is a round one. Okay. Okay, the third cable is here. I just need a little bit. It's off. Shit. Okay. I broke a little piece from here. It's very old. Um, let's see how we can fix that. I, I hate this plastic stuff. That's why, you know, on the old stuff, all stuff, all my handle controls on the Harley, it's metal. Alright, so throw the cable is out. I uh, just have to figure out, uh, you know, how to remove the housing. Check it out one more time. Okay, so we have to like, you know, open it up a little bit. This is a good time to grease the... Um, wow, the throw the cable. I have a special kit just for that. Great. Okay, I took this little one out. Look at like a uh, cosmologist torque uh, something, I don't know. All right, and uh, Okay, so I'm taking out uh, I'm taking out everything. It's a good time to clean the whole section here, grease the throat cables, and uh, do a good inspection. Okay, we're gonna disconnect this, and I'm gonna open up from here. All right, this bolt here. All right, so let's do it. Look what's going on with my cats. Rosie is here and Harley is up there. <laughs> All right, let's. I uh, just want to show you this. It's really hard to pull, so you make sure you hold the big one with one hand and the other one, the other side with the other hand, and just pull. This came out too. But uh, I can tell you it was not that easy. All right, so look like looks like the whole thing here is down. I'm gonna put something here. So I will scratch the bike for right now. And look how many tools have already been uh, used here for this easy job. Okay, so when you start with something like you haven't done before, make sure you have a lot of tools and uh, this is not even close to what I have I have more than that so thank God for tools ah man so we got here all right good good 
All right, so let me get the, uh, what is that? Uh, I think is uh, this is a 225. Yeah. Okay, let um, me see here, so, uh, all right, so I have removed this bolt, you see that, that's a 225, let's see where I put this thing here, uh-huh. We got it. All right, let's go to the desk. All right, so I'm gonna clean her up and uh, take it out. Good. I'm also watching on uh, YouTube, but I haven't find, I haven't find, uh, I haven't found a video to. You know how to remove that yet so you know throttle goes here okay so we got this t25 out but uh, I don't see this part moving this is like okay throttles here um, You know, the most difficult, difficult part of designing things is to make them simple. Maybe that's why. Look at that. So this thing goes like that. Look at this. This is like a security thing here. So you have to put this back like that. This goes to the bolt here. And then the whole thing goes inside. You can't pull it on because this is two bolts right here. And this is up, this is the ignition, all right? So it can't really go around on that. Wow, look at that, it has an adjustment here. For the ignition probably, look, <laughs> amazing. Wow. Well, I'm gonna clean up this. It's a good opportunity, but... Um, See that okay so this goes here okay this this plug here are the the control switches okay this plug here and the heated grip it has only one plug here all right and it goes like that so it goes like this um let me see, it goes through here. Oh, it's easy. All right, so it goes through this little opening here. So when you get a new one, you just put it like this. Put it inside and just like that, that's all. Right here, that's it, right here. All right, so now this is the rear part. This is where the throat cable goes. All right, so it has to be like that. You see it? This is where the throttle cable goes. Alright. And uh, let's take it out. Alright, let's move these parts away. Alright, well, 
put this here. Okay, and let's uh, let's clean this up a little bit, and I'm gonna look very careful. Again, if you want to clean, use silicone. And on your own risk, uh, everything I do, it's on your own risk, really, just give you suggestions. Um, but uh, I, I use common sense on everything I do, all my life. All right, so. A little better. Okay, so let me get this out. Sorry about that. So you can see a little better. And let's put this uh, magnify glass. That's the big one. And I have made. And I need light. I need the light in here. I can do that like this, like that. out let me see here yeah so I'm gonna start from here and go all around let me get a marker just in case I found it okay Okay, this contact here, you see that? Let me see, this one is connected. Mm. But this one, this one looks like it's been cut off. Um, let me clean this a little bit more. Uh, let me check with ohm. With the ohmmeter. Okay, just to be sure. Nothing. All right. Uh, don't see it. Yeah, there is some corners there. Hold on. Let me see here. Let me see here. There is some of the corners, but uh, I'm not really sure.
all right guys uh, i took everybody out because i needed to concentrate on this thing here all right and uh, uh all right guys hi again and uh, i took everybody out <clears throat> my cats my dog and everything so i need to concentrate on this this is not easy okay i watched some uh, videos on youtube and uh, it's not easy so i'm gonna show you my way of course there's a lot of good videos on youtube on that you should watch them all right but i got to a point let me see if i'm gonna show you just one all right i'm gonna put uh let me just uh, set up the gopro so you can see it hold on okay first you need a good soldering gun i'm gonna show you which one I have soon but I wanted to show you just one thing one little thing here all right the corners the secret is the corners you see that you see that the secret is these little corners here all right let's see you see the solder I just put okay and uh, let me turn around so you can see more of this all right uh, I'm not really sure the GoPro can right here all right so let me put the GoPro stable so I can show you how I did it Okay, this is uh, looks like you will be watching the videos on the tutorial on the Motoscan. If you have a BMW uh, bike, just uh, you know, start from uh, uh, part one on a Motoscan tutorial. is is great, great information on this app, and I love it. All right, so let's get into that. Let me put the GoPro here. Okay, and. Uh, Let's do a test on this. You remember that? That couldn't get any connection on these two. Hold on. All right. Let me see here now. You hear that? It's been connected. What it means, it's been connected. If you think it's easy, <laughs> forget about it. All right, let me show you how many cuts I found on this one. First of all, uh, I solder this and this again. All right, then you gotta use uh, a magnifying glass. I'm gonna show you the equipment in a minute. And uh, look how many we have. All right, let me put you the, on the light a little bit closer so you can maybe see it. I don't know if you can, I'm going to put some pictures so you can see what, what is going on here. All right, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I put the bridge here. This I scratch so I can see what's going on here. That was a really pain in the butt, this part here. So I put a little wire here, you can see it. To create a bridge on this one all right five six the bridge is six seven it's a line eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen well fourteen is my lucky number somehow <laughs> anyway fourteen cards on this thing here and the left one it doesn't have any so what I did was what you can do is you 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 definitely gonna need uh, uh, the an instrument all right uh, you're gonna need you're gonna need that you're gonna need that without that you don't even start get the right equipment to start with but what you can do is you start from here 
All right. Then you go to the first one. The second one. When you, I'm talking about this, when you start uh, searching and everything. All right. So you know this line. You see this line starts from here. It goes around, 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 all the way to this one here. Okay. So you go step by step. You start from this three. Then you go to this two. All right. Then continue on the other side, on this three again. You see that? That's how you do it. That's how you find out what is missing. So when I finish all of them, I couldn't see this little one here. You hear that? I couldn't see it. This one. So I took the magnifying glass and I found it. That was my last one right here. All right. So looks now that is good because I put the bridge here and this wire is a little bit out. Uh, I'm going to put the tape on this one here. I'm going to put the tape and uh, before I put the uh, the rubber over, all right, the grip. So it won't get scratched and everything. Before I do that, I'm going to test it on the bike. But this thing now, so it, it's supposed to be working. All right, so this is what I use. To scratch it, sorry, you need a brand new blade with a very good point, okay? And uh, let me just turn this around. And I can show you how. You just hold it like that when you find what you want. <clears throat> You hold it like that and you just go like this very slowly one side of the corner usually are the corners the problem and then you go on the other side of the corner all right that's how you scratch that you have to scratch it approximately uh three minimum three millimeters all right that's like uh one eighth of an inch or one sixteen something all right, or, uh, you know, something like that. But you have to scratch it up to half of that turn to be able to solder that. All right, you see the soldering here? All right. Let me see if I can put it under the light. So you can see a little more. So what I use was I have two instruments. I have this one. But this is more. This one was more convenient because the the beeping noise and everything. Um, then I use this giant magnify glass. Look how big it is. This helped me a lot. All right. And then you need a very good fine soldering iron. Okay. You need a very good one. I have this machine here for soldering. I can turn it off now. All right, so this is what I use. So you need very good quality soldering uh, solder, very good quality. And uh, you might also need uh, the cleaning tape, okay, for soldering. If you do a mistake, get good quality one. This is, uh, uh, this one is uh, uh, solder weak. I got it from the States, it's really good, and this is what I would recommend. Just in case you do a mistake, you just put it up here and you clean the solder, all right? Now, this is what I did. Then, when I wanted to do the bridge, I just cut this, a couple of lines of this one here, just a, lay, uh, just a regular cable, and uh, did the bridge on this one over here, all right? So. That was it up to now, then the next uh, part it will be uh, tested and uh, put it on the bike. Alright, and uh, don't forget to put a couple of likes. I'm getting a lot of views, but not too many likes. If you watch my videos, please like them. That makes me keep going. And if you want to put a tip, our PayPal is there, so you can put a tip. If you want to be a patron, um, you can just go ahead and uh, the links there on every video how you can join our uh, Patreon uh, uh, site, me and Rose, and uh, you gonna get a lot of support from us, and you can also see hidden video I have just for good friends and people that just want to support us. All right.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the part two.